Hey sports fans, Haroon Rashid, Finisher Creative, and in this video we're going to talk about how you can finally, finally get your website sorted out. So let me guess, you probably got a website, it's flat, it's boring, but you've always kind of said, yeah, I'll get round to actually fixing it. Number one is to get a marketing plan done. Check out this video, it's going to show you the basic anatomy of an online marketing plan, but it shows that the website is the central element in the online marketing plan. Your things like SEO, social media, your blog, landing pages, all that kind of stuff revolve around the website, but your website is the central hub that everything else should revolve around. Point number two, get a content marketing plan. Your customers do not like online brochure websites. <laughs> but they're so easy to make. Yeah, I know they're easy to make, but they don't work. Your customers are after fresh, relevant, compelling content that is always constantly updated on a website that solves their problems and needs in a specific and a focused way. <gasps> that was a mouthful. The strength of your website is all dependent on the strength of content that you give your customers. Number three, develop a website brief. The website brief is a basic document which tells someone what the website should be doing, how it should look, what kind of colors you want, what kind of functionality you want, things like that. Give that brief to a web designer first. Once they've designed around the content that you want on the website, then they can take it to a web developer and then that's fine. Or oh, here is secret option number four. And here is the one that I really recommend. Because your website needs to be updated constantly with all that fresh relevant content that we talked about you need to have access or easy access to be able to do that regularly if you're a small business and you have to keep asking your web guy to always update things constantly that's going to cost you a lot of money surely the best thing is for you to have some kind of content management system cms something simple that you can use and you can just update whenever you want however you want to do it there are great platforms nowadays things like wordpress or there are other ones out there as well which are really simple and easy to use and they have great features things like you know plugins or you know seo kind of benefits associated with those platforms you know you can use Use those things really really easily with no coding knowledge with no HTML background or anything like that the issue isn't really how you're gonna get started it's how you're gonna establish your website and then keep it going ongoing 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 with that fresh relevant content how are you gonna keep it updated how are you gonna be able to change things if you need to do it really quickly how are you gonna be able to add another page in there another service another kind of promotion all of these require you to be in charge and empowered to be able to do it yourself. And there you have it. Remember, for more great tips like this, you can always subscribe to me for more videos. You can always follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus in the video description below, and I'll see you soon.